Some key components of the IEP are strengths and needs, any specialized health support services that are included. That could be, is a walker used? Is a hearing device used? Is there any type of medical equipment that is supported and used in the school day? Relevant assessment data. Relevant assessment data is located in the Ontario student record. It will include the date, it will include any diagnosis and any recommendations. Current level of achievement in which the modified or alternate program is going to be established at. It will also include annual goals in each expectation and reporting period, program modifications and accommodations. It will also include teaching strategies and assessment methods for modified and alternative subjects. Any individualized equipment, for example, if a child has a computer or a specialized device that is used within the classroom to access the curriculum, it will be noted there. There is a section for provincial assessment accommodations or exemptions. That is usually within grade three, six, and nine EQAO. There is an evaluation and reporting of a student achievement, and that simply just states when the evaluation periods will happen throughout the year, meaning a progress report in elementary school, um, a first term report and a second term report. It will have a transition plan. A transition plan must be considered for every student when opening an IEP. The transition plan will support transitions throughout the instructional day. And the transition plan will also is mandatory for any students with a diagnosis of autism. An example of that would be, did I, did I look at last year's report card? Did I look at last year's um, IEP? Did parents give input? Was there a new assessment that I included in this? Am I looking at current assessments? So there's many relevant information that's gathered that you've consulted with to support the current programming plans. And are parents and or students consulted in the involvement? And that's very, very important. The older the student is, you're going to see that the IEP is signed off by not only the school administrator, but it is also encouraged to be signed off by the parent and there is also room for the student to sign off on and that is using teacher's judgment if the child is cognitively available to support and understand the IEP and also it's a good opportunity for the teacher to sit down and say this is how I'm planning for you this is what my goals are and this is going to be your role in advocating when you need assistance Also, a good point of resources is, is that as a classroom teacher, you're not working in isolation developing the IEP. You have your school administrator, you have parents, you have your special education teacher, and you also have your resource team of specialty people to consult, to give information and support you in the writing goals of the individual education plan.